As I mentioned, you can set different scales for a view when you place it onto a layout. So what I'm going to do with this with our tip of the week today is I'm going to kind of show you the pros and cons to the two options you have. So when you place a drawing onto a sheet, it will then have the settings as you had set those settings for the view, right? When I save a view, the, the view has information such as the layer combination, the scale, structural display, pen set, model view options, and other, other options as well. The scale that is set with that view is what is part of that drawing when you place it onto the layout. If I want to modify those source view settings or the settings of that drawing, <clears throat> I select the drawing, I right click the drawing, and I select modify source view settings here. That will then open up my view settings and then I can change the scale from say eighth inch to quarter inch or sixteenth inch. Now when I change that scale using that more modified source view settings, what happens is that you know the, the drawings will, will reduce or enlarge based upon that scale, right? What will stay the same though if I'm changing the original view settings is the text, the size of my graphics, uh, the size of my symbols. So for example, here is the first floor plan at a quarter inch. Here it is at eight inch. You'll notice in both cases, the text is the same size. My uh, symbols, drawing symbols here, are the same size. And so are some of the other graphics. Now, some graphics might reduce, such as the door, right? It's going to reduce, and the door symbol associated with that door will reduce. But the symbol that is part of my dimension string, you'll see, is, is, stays the same. So unless you were to, you can actually set even the symbol here to be, uh, to follow the scale of the view or, or to follow the scale of the drawing setting. As I mentioned, there's also drawing setting. So for example, if I place the view onto a sheet or onto a layout and I select that view and I open up the drawing settings, not the view settings. This is the drawing settings. The drawing settings come uh, from your, uh, uh, whenever you select a view, you can then double click the drawing settings, which will then open up. And then when you open this up, it will show the original scale. The original scale is what you set in that view. So when you save that view in the view map, it's saved with that scale at 1 8 inch. So when I want to place it on the sheet, it's going to take on that scale as 1 8 inch. I can, however, open the drawing settings up, and I can change it from this original scale to a drawing selection scale, say a quarter inch or sixteenth inch or whatever I want to change it to. Now what's going to happen when I do that is this going to take that drawing, which was originally one quarter inch, and now it's going to change it to one eighth inch. And similar to the other drawing, it's going to change the scale of my drawing, so it's now one eighth inch. But the difference between the view and changing it to the view uh, settings versus changing it to the drawing settings is notice that all of my symbols, all of my text, all of my dimension strings are now also 50% or, or you know, changed, changed in terms of going from a quarter inch down to eighth inch. So it's like I took this view and I put it onto a zero. And they said reduce it by 50%. And so it reduced the entire uh, drawing, all of it, by 50%, including the text box, including the drawing symbol, including all parts of the drawing. So the difference, again, is that if you're using the view settings, it will reduce the drawing uh, in terms of the drawing information, right? Do a per quarter inch, eight inch, but will retain the text font size, it will retain drawing symbol size will retain your um, dimension, string, arrow size, etc. 
But if I use the drawing settings to reduce that scale, it's going to be like putting it onto a Xerox and it reduces everything by whatever scale you're making the change to. So this is the thing to keep in mind. I would say 95% of the time, you're going to want to use the view settings to change the scale. Because typically, when you go to print um, on your sheet, you're going to want the scale, or it's just you're going to want the, um, the font size of your text and the drawing symbol size of your symbol to always re remain the same size. So that's probably what you want to do most of the time, but there is that option. Maybe you want to use a, a drawing for the purpose of a key map, which doesn't really matter what the size of the uh, other information is. And so that we're going to use the key map to reduce everything down to the same scale. So there's something like that that you might use it for. But most of the time, you're going to want to always change your scale in the view setting versus the drawing setting. That is my tip of the week for you guys.